poor grooming, untidy hair, crumpled clothes. These are common mistakes made by men when it comes to dressing for work, according to a survey on employers by the Association of Image Consultants International Singapore. They need to first of all be very well groomed. So grooming is important and that came up really as top, one of the top most important aspects. So not even we're not even talking about what you wear, it's having neat groom hair, uh, being well groomed uh, in the face looking radiant and, 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 and bright, for men being clean shaven. As for the choice of clothes, what is appropriate and what is deemed too casual? For men, it would be wearing a uh, long sleeve shirt and not a sleeveless t-shirt for example. So jeans and sleeveless t-shirts and slippers and flip-flops are out. Some snazzy looking men spotted around Raffles Place also offer tips on how to dress right for the workplace. I think your belt and your shoe should be matching colours and don't wear like too funky pants. You know, some people like to wear like purple or like green pants. Office wear is just catch smart. So as long as you are smart, it's no problem. Lah. I think for guys it's pretty easy. Um, proper shirt, uh, well cut pants and shoes are important. Um, your accessories should match. Um, and of course you have got to be well groomed. Um, your hair, hair and everything. So it all, it all adds up. Lah. But for those important meetings where you have to dress to impress, here's the advice from the expert. It's most important for men that when they look, when they wear a suit, that it fits very well everywhere. So the most important part is first to look at the shoulders, that it does fit exactly here on the shoulders, not too, too loose, too broad here and not too, too tight here. Uh, and then going down, it needs to fit here when they button up. And in terms of fit, we are also talking about length. So where length is concerned, the sleeve length is one of the most important areas as well. So it should be at the wrist here, just when you put your hands up, and not too long here or too short here for men. And, if, and they should have uh, the long sleeve shirt, the, it should also show about half an inch above the sleeve here, above the, the suit sleeve. In terms of the length of the jacket as well, that's, that's important. So they need to make sure that it fits nicely. One of the easiest way we tell men is to actually just put their hands here. And this is where the, the length of the jacket should be. Choosing the right tie for the right occasion is also key to projecting the right image. A solid colour tie would be the most formal. And if you want to go for prints, the smaller the prints, the more classic the prints, like these two would be classic prints. If you're talking about a fun tie, then that's a no-no for a formal occasion. As you can see, a fun tie does not go with a suit. The tie should take, pick up a colour from the shirt. So if the shirt is, say, a light blue tie, then they could do a blue, uh, a, something with blue in it. And if the shirt has is like a little, maybe perhaps a pink or a light um, uh, beige shirt, then it could also pick up something uh, from the shirt. So depending on the occasion, the colour of the tie also does uh, convey certain messages. So red, a red tie, for example, conveys power. Uh, a black tie conveys authority. A blue tie conveys loyalty. For more on dressing up for the workplace, check out our other clips.